All right, so today we're going to see how to make a new uh, snippet. And you can make as many snippets as you want. Uh, I recommend doing it for things that you're doing over and over again. So right now we have a default snippet that's in, um, in Sublime Text. So if I type here uh, HTML and press Tab, which is what we've been doing, it goes ahead and it puts this in there. And that's fine, but then we had to go ahead and change a bunch of stuff. So you know why do that? So um, instead of doing that, we're going to have this one up here, which is what we've been doing all along, and that is uh, making the language e uh, equal to English using the um, Unicode eight-bit character set, um, and then we'd have a title. And for the title, let's put uh, let's see uh, place title here. All right, so that, and then we had a description, and then there's another new one, this one right here, and this viewport is um, what we're going to be using whenever we use, create responsive websites. What we don't want to have is when a person uses their phone and it opens up our website, that our website shrinks down to the size of the phone, and they have to use that pinching method to see what's inside the website. Instead, we said, hey, this is a responsive website, so you don't have to shrink it down. Just leave it the way it is, and that way our our application will stay, or the web page itself will reconfigure itself to the size of the phone. Uh, and we do that by using viewport and then telling it that um, make the width just the width of um, whatever the file is, rather than shrinking it down so it all fits uh, inside that viewport. And then we have this link rel. Um, you can put styles on CSS. We tend to use that word anyway, so might as well just keep getting used to doing it. And then, we, then that saves us a little bit of time. Uh, but we have to make that happen first. So I'm going to get rid of this default one that we use. And we're going to be using this one here. So in order for us to do that, uh, what we're going to have to do is tell it we want to create a new snippet. And we do that by going to Tools, Developer, and then New Snippet. You can't see that. It's off to the left. What can I say? Uh, so it says New Snippet. Let me move this over. So if you'd be confused because you can't see it. So Tools, Developer, now you can see it. New Snippet. Bam. And there's our new snippet now over here. All right, and I'm going to go move this over a little bit. The reason why I'm opening up two columns is I'm going to be copying this over here into here. So um, what we're going to want to do is, uh, let's see. All right, so it, it starts us up with some stuff here. So this first part right here is optional, yada, yada, yada. But this is the most important thing right here. We're going to uncomment this. So I'll go ahead and select this text. And do a control slash. Okay, now that is not done. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is it says, well, what do you want to use as the trigger? So I'm going to use, so it's not like HTML, I'm just going to use start. All right, and that's going to, when we type the word start, it's going to put all this stuff onto the page. All right, the other thing we need to do is change this right here. And instead of being, well, first we have to uncomment it. Okay, and then source Python, we want to make it to the HTML tag. So we're going to say text.html instead of source. So HTML and text. Okay, so those two things are important. That triggers it, and this tells it what kind of pages to apply this to. So if you typed in start and CSS page, it would not work. All right, so it would have to be an HTML page. The other thing we have to do is this right here, and you can see that this is what we wanted to actually put on the page. We're going to leave this top page the way it is, but this hello... 
yada 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 dot that's gonna go and it's gonna be replaced by what we have over here so in fact instead my probably better way of doing this is I'm gonna come down here and start my close HTML copy it all the way to the top I'm not typing it all right and then I'm gonna come over here and select this text right here and do control V and paste it right on top of that so I have to replace it with this so you can see that this is what's going to show up on the page whenever I type start on an HTML page. All right, now I have to go ahead and save it. So we're going to have it, make sure that your insertion point is in this one right here. And we'll do file, save as. All right, and then it should automatically go in here, but it's going to be in your sublime data packages and then user. And you can see I've already created one like this. So I'm going to have to call it something different. All right. So I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to call this head. And then I'm going to have to end it with the sublime dash snippet. So in fact, I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And I think we call this head, head dot sublime snippet and then I'm going to go ahead and save that and now I can go ahead and use it all right but before I do that I'm going to do file open file and grab this other one and see what the heck did I do yeah on this one I had typed HTML so it will not be an issue all right so now if I come over here, this is an HTML file. If I get rid of all this and I type the word start and press tab, bam, there you go. Uh, you can do anything. So if say you wanted to do, you know how the navigation is a UL and then a bunch of LIs and it's usually the same pages, home, about, um, so those kind of things, you can go ahead and create a navigation section and say, well, whenever I type navigation, then it automatically places those navigation tags in there. So you might think of many different ways of being able to do it. But for now, we want to make sure that we have at least this uh, start done so that we don't have to keep typing this stuff over and over again. And that's it.